students wasted no time. They started planting in this dome as soon as it was ready last October. Tony Jirasi, today's guest, said the student involvement here is something he calls agri-hospitality. It's a really simple made-up word that just simply means farm to fork. So at some point it came from some place and somebody sat down uh, and enjoyed it at another place. So it's all of the pieces that connect that. And the message that producing food is hard work seems to be getting through. Being here, being with the plants and helping things grow, it's, it's a rewarding experience. You know, seeing your handiwork actually coming about and doing some good. The goal is to grow enough to sell what they produce at farm markets and perhaps help feed their classmates. Oh, we're able to grow 800 pounds of tomatoes. I mean, I would have never guessed we could grow that much stuff. It provides us really with endless possibilities uh, for some active learning, uh, which we find uh, uh, quite exciting and uh, really kind of a, a real good thing for kids. Teachers Jerry Hops and Fred Smith came up with the idea for the dome. They say it has exceeded expectations. We're really excited to actually have the opportunity to be able to use this uh, facility for a lot of different classes. Reporting from Reed City, I'm John McGowan for 9and10news.com.